Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install shaders from Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. I hope this video does help you guys out. If it does, make sure to smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button, and guys, make sure to watch to the very end of this video. There's a lot of settings you have to set up, so I want to make sure you guys can do this correctly to enjoy it. So let's get straight into the video. And alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install shaders from Minecraft Bedrock Edition, specifically for Windows 10 Edition, but could work on console and pocket edition pocket edition you gotta like find certain ones and mix with your files if you're on android and um console edition depends like you gotta start like a LAN game and see if it's even compatible but the first thing you want to do is make sure your settings are correct and make sure the shaders work so we're gonna go over to our settings and then what we're gonna do is go down to video and we'll just go all the way down just make sure ray tracing is turned on once that's turned on, like, these shaders will work. If you don't have that setting, then don't worry about it. But for Windows 10 Edition, even if that's turned off, shaders won't work. So just make sure it's turned off. And, okay, guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install shaders from Minecraft Bedrock Edition or Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. This does work for Console Edition and Pocket Edition. Pocket Edition, you got to, like, find some certain packs that work. And then if you're on Android, you got to, like, edit your files. But if you're on um, iOS, it's very easy. And then console, again, you got to start like a LAN game and it has to be compatible. But the first thing you want to do is go to, over to your settings, go over to video settings and scroll all the way down and just make sure ray tracing is turned on. If you don't see the setting there, then that's okay. Don't worry about it. But for Windows 10 edition, you have to make sure it's turned on or else any shaders won't work. And then what you guys want to do is go over to the link in the description or go to minecraftmod.com and go to shaders. And there's so many different shaders you can choose from. I'm using the um, Roundista pack in today's video, so it's uh, right here. There we go, Roundista. I'm going to show you guys how to safely download it. So you can just scroll through all this. You don't have to read it. Just go all the way down to the download option. And there are some ads that people think are viruses. They're not viruses. They're just ads. I'll show you how to bypass it. We're going to click on the girl and then just hit free access with ads. Sometimes they don't even come up, but if it does, all you have to do is just simply uh, wait 10 seconds and close it. And if it makes you do like a download manager, read what you're downloading. Because it's going to say, do you want to download this browser? It's not a virus. It's just like, do you want to download Yahoo browser? Hit skip all. And then we're going to just double click it to open it. And it's going to import it in your game for you. And once it imports it or I already imported it, you'll go to settings. You'll go all the way down to global resources. Go down. And you'll find it in your packs. Around these, just click it and add it. But I already have it turned on. And I'm already in a game, so I can't add it. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to download and install shaders from Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. If this video helped you guys out and you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in another video.